As I said in the last episode, Yorgos Lanthimos directing a period piece was a major left turn in his filmography, taking into account his previous works. And in saying that, a Neil Armstrong biopic was just as much of a change of pace for director Damien Chazelle. Chazelle, only being 34 years old, has already accomplished a lot in his small career, being the youngest Best Director winner at the Oscars for 2016's La La Land and directing one of my personal favourite movies, 2014's Whiplash. But just like Lanthimos, this change in his conventional style proved to be a breath of fresh air and really shows just how talented Chazelle can be. And in all honesty, I thought this was actually going to be a musical for the longest time considering his previous track record. The movie takes a deep personal dive into Neil Armstrong's life throughout the 1960s as he balances work and family life and how each affects the other in both good and bad ways. Ryan Gosling brings a very real and emotional take on the famous figure and really embodies the character as a whole and Claire Foy equally embodies the character of Janet Armstrong, as her strong-willed approach to the role leaves an impact on both the characters and the audience. All the other actors aren't as stand-out as those two, sadly, but they do their jobs fine, but the child acting in this film, though okay at times, was very below average and a bit too stilted. But the best element of the film is the aesthetic and visual effects, and how suspense is used to make these aspects even better. When there's a scene where a ship is malfunctioning, the use of handheld cinematography, music, and lack of exterior visual effects makes it much more unpredictable on what's going to happen. It reminded me of 2006's United 93 in how cinematography and music are used to create a scenario that the audience can feel like they're a part of. All the production design is really good, both in ships and the reconstruction of NASA's HQ. The sound design is amazing during the flight scenes. The colour palette of the film brings a very nostalgic tone to the environment, and Chazelle's directing is no doubt amazing and visually expressive, but the big showpiece that the film displays is their depiction of the moon. The way they show the environment in the film from the science around the characters, the first person and extreme long shot camera angles, the texture of the surface, and the use of Justin Herowitz's score makes this to me the best on screen depiction of the moon in film and brings a fantastic end to the movie. And it's no wonder it has so many nominations in the effects side of the Oscars, from visual to sound. And on the subject of Justin Herowitz, he and Damien Chazelle are the new age equivalent of Steven Spielberg and John Williams. You just put them together and because of their long history of collaboration, they know exactly what they want out of each other. And just like their other collabs, it works perfectly. To end this off, First Man is a massive change in Chazelle's filmography that results in a film that combines a detailed character study with the spectacle of a modern blockbuster. And even though it's not my favourite film by him, I will be giving it a second watch in the future.